What's up, you guys? Your boy Dre Cray, Never Hate. I want to congratulate. I'm just here to talk about today about that moment when R&B stars finally fall off. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. My sister called me a prophet for this because I've been saying this for years. Okay? A man in America should never listen to R&B. That's, that's the most suckerous music you can listen to. I'm sorry. I hate to say it. It came to that era just like disco when they had that chance and they got played out. It came to that era where R&B is played out. Okay, I'm sorry. I hate to say that. I know women loving this shit, but we in an era today of hard on hoes movements. You know what I'm saying? And you know how that goes. And I'm not going to lie. I kind of, I'm, no, nah, I'm not going to say none of that. I just, it's just, you know, things got to change. Change is always good. You know what I'm saying? Obama said it, said it best. You know, because honestly, I mean, all this ridiculousness going on in R&B singing, they're, they're honestly just ruining the name. You know what I'm saying? Not even their own company, not the people that put them on. They're just ruining themselves. And honestly, I disagree with everything that they say. Because honestly, I'm going to say some names like Jenny Wan, then Child Support straight up destroyed him. I heard today Val, Val, Valen Vantino or whatever his name is. I don't know. I don't listen to none of this stuff. I just tear around, you know. I always keep in touch with the culture. But honestly, um, I heard that he got caught with a transsexual yesterday or someday. I don't know. They got him on camera running from the hotel, some shit, because he didn't want to pay or something like that. That's a shame. Saying you singing to all these women out here, and you out here doing all this homosexual shit. I disagree with it, and it isn't right at all. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I agree with these youngins with rap today because they're realizing that these women don't give a fuck about you. You know what I'm saying? At all. They give a fuck about your money. You got to think about when men first had their first baby mama. You know what I'm saying? Your first baby mama is your limit. That's the best you could do. Okay? Otherwise, the rest is all money. And that's all it is. I hate to tell folks that, but that's the truth. You know? They don't give a damn about you. It's all about your money, what you can get them, and what you can buy them, and where you can have them living at. All right? Because back then, your game, you got to remember, your game wasn't that swift. All right? It wasn't, okay? You had the ugliest bit doing the anything you want them to. You guys, let, you little young motherfuckers let this money go to your head too much. I think that shit needs to stop. You know what I'm saying? What else happened in R&B? Yeah, I heard that uh, Big Usher, you know what I'm saying, always been a fan since the 90s. You know what I'm saying? But I, I did realize that he disappeared for a very long time. I didn't understand that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know where he went. I mean, even though he came back on fire. You know what I'm saying? But, uh... He, um, he came back on fire, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it was just full of shit, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, he, fuck, he uh, fucking got herpes. Okay? And that's what all that brings, you know what I'm saying? They, like, I mean, it, I mean, it's only right, though. We can't really blame the guy. He's a famous celebrity. He's a somebody. He counts for something, you know what I'm saying? And all the girls, of course, love him. But, I mean, for him not to tell that lady that, that was kind of shady. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it'll never be the same for you to get on stage and see Usher. You know what I'm saying? Because there's always going to be that one asshole, or at least five or ten assholes, that's going to be saying, oh, he got herpes, he ain't shit now. You know what I'm saying? People don't respect credibility. People don't respect reputation, and it's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But it is true. He did give that lady herpes, and that was messed up. Saying, I couldn't believe that. Like, honestly, like that shit just don't, it, it, it was, I, I couldn't believe that at all. But I could kind of believe it because he was fucking a lot of girls. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, he's uh, full of, he's full of shit at the end of the day. And I disagree with that. He should have never, he should have let that lady know, man. He, he got that lady caught up. I don't think people, people know what herpes is, but if you don't, it's something that once you got it, they don't have to care for it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be growing ugly rashes on your neck, on your body for the rest of your life, and there's nothing that can be done about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's fucked up. I can't even lie. Like, if I had herpes, you know what I'm saying? I'm STD free, but if I had herpes, that shit is just ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? I can't believe that at all. Like, <laughs> Wow. Like these R&B stars, like that's why that shit's coming to an end because people are abusing their power as R&B stars. You're supposed to be changing stuff in the world. You over here mixing in with the world. You know what I'm saying? You're pretty much, you're pretty much the fucking Illuminati, if you ask me. 
saying? That's why I pretty much, I never really been, been an R&B star, uh, fan, but I have li I liked a lot of R&B songs, honestly. Like, but to keep it real, I agree with the little young rappers today that's, that's going on. I like the way the movement's going, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't think people remember the era where everybody, people always follow swags and styles in hip hop. You know what I'm saying? They, uh, they, you remember with the little era where they were wearing the little drug man t-shirts, you know what I'm saying? You see the cops from Warner Brother, Rice Krispies and all that. I don't know because I never wore one. I didn't agree with it. You know what I'm saying? Then everybody was following the Cameron era where everybody was wearing pink. And I disagree with that. I never wore pink in my fucking life. And I think pink is for girls, and that's about it. Saying and uh, what else? What other era? When Lil Wayne came out. When Lil Wayne came out, everybody start trending. Everybody was a blood all of a sudden. Saying everybody. Saying the South ain't even really known for no bloods or no crips. They make their own damn gangs up. Yet they're over here claiming bloods and shit like that. Shit really means something. That's bullshit. Saying be your own man. Don't stand. And then all of a sudden today, we don't see that shit at all. Okay, music is a big influence. I think people need to stop letting music influence them because half of these people don't even be as big as they say they are. I think that's just bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I mean, you can tend to what you're going to do, what you're a part of, and, uh, yeah, that's whatever. You know, like, they brought that on themselves. Like, I, I just think that people need to be themselves. You're better off being yourself than being someone else. Anyway, like, subscribe, comment. Thanks. Peace.